Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd Cheek. I have been asked to do a tutorial on how to embed YouTube videos into pages or posts. And so this goes right along with um, some of the live feed questions because some folks, they want their live videos to post onto their pages or their blog or whatever after it's done. So the first thing is, is you can always embed a post or, an, or a not post, but a brand new video by just going to the actual video itself and clicking share and then you can either do copy that and put the link in or click embed right here and then you can get the embed for the video and drop that in your page you can always do that so you just need to select this and copy it you can even choose at what point you want it to start so if you want it to cut off some of the beginning maybe you're a church service or something you want to cut off some of the announcements or worship you can click start it right here and start at a later point and then copy paste it and embed it. You can do that for every single video that you post. You can put it on your page, you can put it in blogs or whatever, but there's a better way. Let's look at the possibility of automating. So first off, let's look at automating using an RSS feed. Now any of you guys that have a function inside of your page or your vlog or blog or whatever where you can pull an RSS feed and then drop the post that's current into a blog post automatically you just need the RSS feed for YouTube here's how you're gonna do it the first thing is you need to go to your page your channel page and find this information right here see this information after channel and that forward slash all of these letters all the way to the question mark right here that's your channel that's where your channel lives that's the name of it so mine is this line right here you see me highlighted before the question mark and then view a subscriber so yours may not have that it may just be this Whatever that is, get that information right there. So I just copied it. Now, you're going to use this in the description. This is the text you need. YouTube.com forward slash feeds forward slash all this right here. Put that info right here at the end after the equals mark. Mine is right here. So that's what mine looks like. That is your channel feed. So if you have a way of posting to your blog or whatever, automatically pulling from a feed and automating it, boom, there it is. I just gave it to you. If you need to check your feed and make sure it works, I want to point you to an awesome thing called FeedBurner. And FeedBurner right here is amazing. You can set up your own account. And then right here you see it says burn a feed right in this instant. I'm going to click and drop that feed in here. Click Next. It's going to check that feed and look, it says it validated. It creates a new feed address and then boom, I can create a feed from my YouTube and it's in FeedBurner. And that's also a great resource to update everything you do on Google. That gets you more views and activity on your YouTube as well. There's another way. So that's if you're using feeds, you need to validate the feed, try FeedBurner.com and then go on to, you know, your page and post it in whatever RSS feed um, integrator you've got for your blog or website. Let's say you don't have that. Let's say you've got a WordPress, a Tumblr, or a Blogger account. Well, guess what? With the the um, the use of ifttt.com, which is this site right here, you can add in your YouTube, you can add in your Blogger, you can add your WordPress and your Tumblr, connect them, and then automatically everything you put on your YouTube will go to those pages. You can even set them up however you want. Now I'm going to do a different um, tutorial on showing you how to use IFTTT with your YouTube and other blogger blogs and that kind of stuff and you can watch that later. But these are the easiest, quickest ways to get your, your YouTube onto your page either as a single embed or as an automated blog post through a feed reader and a reposter and aggregator or by using IFTTT. So if you've got any questions or comments, you want to see another tutorial or a deeper dive, put that in the comments here. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and be looking for the next video I do on how to use IFTTT with your YouTube automating your video posts to your blog.